gonna come in again. How about that? <laughs> All right, no problem. Cigar Box Nation TV. Now it's not just me uh, talking uh, mutely at you. We're telling you this is Cigar Box Nation TV for July 7th, 2016. And we are not professional video presenters and producers. We make this stuff up as we go. So we apologize for any glitches. It's all good. We're going to run with it. So Americana Month here on Cigar Box Nation TV featuring some of the lesser known uh, instruments that have contributed to the American musical history. Uh, cigar Box guitars, we're featuring some things beyond Cigar Box guitars this month like dulcimers and Appalachian dulcimers and mountain banjos, all, uh, all kinds of great stuff. So. <laughs> Cigar box guitar. Who could leave that out? A couple of announcements. We got the Northern Illinois Cigar Box Guitar Festival coming up in nine days, Saturday, July 16th. They're going to have some great cigar box homemade instrument performers from all around the country. Uh, our buddy AJ Gaither, John Nickel, uh, One Hand Dan, Johnny Lobo, I think, is going to be there. They're going to have quite a great lineup. So check that out if you're anywhere near the northwestern Illinois area the northwestern uh, suburbs of Chicago there. Check it out. And we're also talking to our buddy John Nickel about whether he can do some live broadcasting to the Cigar Box Nation page from the festival on the day of. Some highlights and performances, so stay tuned for that. We're going to do our best. <laughs> tomorrow's live broadcast. Shane Spiel is going to be doing it at 12 noon every day we do them. Uh, he's going to be featuring some historic instrument plans. I mean, we're not sure exactly which ones yet, whether it's going to be the Uncle Enos banjo or, or some of the other stuff, but we're going to start showcasing some of these historic plans and talking about the instruments, uh, what it would take to build them. If somebody that we know of has built one, we'll feature that. So it's going to be a great thing. Americana Month here on Cigar Box Nation TV. We're featuring all kinds of, of wacky stuff from American musical history. So today on this episode, it's not just gonna be me sitting here picking and, and talking at you. We're gonna be featuring a guy who works here at CB Giddy. His name's Noel Preston. And a couple of months ago, he decided it was time to start building his own guitars. He caught the bug. And he's on, he just finished his second one. It's a six string, semi hollow body electric. Uh, sounds really nice. He, he routed a channel, put his own truss rod in there. And Farley helped him out and some of the other builders out in the shop. So we're going to have Farley in here and we're going to talk about what it took to build the guitar. Might play a little bit on it. We're going to have a good old time. So I'm going to do one more. And then we're going to do another first here for Cigar Box Nation TV. We are going to stream a previously recorded clip, a little bit of a blooper reel that happened at the end of a broadcast we did several weeks back. If you remember when we built the wash tub bases, well at the end of that we had stopped the stream but the recording was still going and somebody handed me a bow and said, why don't you try bowing that thing? And I did and the results are... Uh, Pretty interesting. So we're going to be running that for you while we get the stage set up here for the second half. I promise there'll be sound this time. There will be sound. We have a promise from our engineer. So uh, I've been working on one, speaking of Americana here, this one it's a modern song. It was written in the 70s I think by Jay Unger and it's been featured on Ken Burns's uh, Civil War documentary. It comes up pretty much any time that Americana is being talked about and it is Ashokan Farewell and we actually have tablature for this on cigarboxguitar.com so I'm gonna give it a try here
that's the shortened version. Clearly, I should have practiced that second part a little bit more. But that's all right. Ashokin, farewell. You can find the tab for it on CigarBoxGuitar.com and learn to play it yourself. It looks harder than it is, although my performance wouldn't necessarily back up that claim. So we're going to feed in this previously recorded clip here. I hope you enjoy it of us having a little fun out in the shop with a wash tub bass and a bass violin bow. So uh, Nick's bringing that up now. All right, shut off the local mic. That's uh, like, can, can you change it by like ripping these with your fingers? the stage here we got Farley Andreessen and Noel Preston up here with us How you doing? and uh, we are going to be talking about some of these guitars two guitars that Noel built now you started with us it's been a few a uh, few months now uh, or at least I lose track of time but oh, I think almost a year now. almost a year almost see a I told you now. I lose track of time um, it kind of started with you had us Noel had us build a cigar box guitar before you were working here, I, I got to know Noel at a local restaurant, Dante's uh, Italian Bistro. Yes. And uh, we spent a lot of time there, and I talked about what we did here at CB Giddy. And he said, Well, I'd kind of like a guitar for my son. His son's a guitar player. So we built this four string uh, acoustic electric cigar box guitar for him using one of the nice big Balboa uh, Las Cabrillas boxes that are everybody likes and uh, are pretty hard to come by. really good sound but we built this one so we're not really talking about that one as much today as we are talking about the two that Noel has built now Noel I wanted to ask you what what flipped the switch for you what made you decide it's time to build my own guitar uh, a lot has to do with my son uh, and the fact that I love watching him play and I'm uh, you know it's incredible how he how he plays and I kind of got uh, the idea I like watching people. You, it's a simple instrument that you can take, and you can be on the beach. You can be your own band. You can be you can be your own entertainment. You can entertain people. Yeah. And I had never played, but I really I kind of caught the bug after I came here working for you, and I started seeing how you guys made your guitars, and it really kind of lit a fire under me to go. Well, I want to learn how to play. Now so, you decided from the get go that while cigar boxes are cool, you wanted to make your own guitar bodies. So with Farley's help, that's why yes. we have her up here. Yes. Um, this one, the first one, this is a four string uh, guitar, 25 inch scale, got an electric pickup in there, and uh, tuned to Chicago tenor, DGBE. Um, and this one, it looks kind of like an electric guitar body. It's really cute. But this was not steam bed. This is right. using the Farley method. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Uh, band sawing the the outer shape of the guitar, I think, in two two parts. It was um, from a solid piece of wood that she laminated together from scraps well, we had up did there. The, you did the laminating. I yeah. I did the body. Uh, I had followed the color scheme, and the design was peak. My was from Farley's neck that she had built. Okay. And I loved the look of it and everything, so I wanted to incorporate that kind of scheme. In the guitar. All right. So I, I took I took her. Yeah, bring yeah. us on to that one, Nick, so I can really show it off here. Try to keep it out of the glare. 
that laminated side and the laminated top and up into the laminated neck. There's a so lot of pretty. different pieces of wood yeah. yep. involved in this very cool little guitar. Get a look at the back of it there. Maple, Peruvian walnut, paduk. I think that's it. I <laughs> those, those three woods. Yes. Um, so that was the first one. Four stringer, tuned Chicago tenor. Now for this new one, you decided six string. I wanted a traditional six string. I've, I've looked at my son's. He's very big into his Gibsons, his Epiphones, his the Sunbursts and such. I just liked the six string. I thought I could, this presented so much that you could do, but to traditionally learn how to play a guitar, I wanted to learn how to play on a, on a traditional six yeah, string. Yeah, to learn conventional six string guitar chords. Exactly. Uh, you know. Exactly. And, you know, people, if you're sitting in on a jam or you're with other people, six strings are familiar to most people. They're used to six strings. They're used to a fretted instrument. You show them a four string instrument and, and a lot of, uh, you know, conventional guitar players get a little confused about what's going on. So I certainly understand wanting to go with a six string. Now this, uh, Farley, pull that one down over there. This is a guitar that Farley built a while back, six string electric. <laughs> been trying to get her in the middle. <laughs> that, that, that's it. This was using a pre-made neck that we, we brought in. This is a Telecaster style neck that Farley bolted on to this American chestnut yeah. natural edge uh, guitar body that she made. This was a lot easier. This had the truss rod already in there. It was already fretted, ready to go. So it's like a bolt on and go style, right. which works great. It's a, it's a nice way to build a functioning electric guitar pretty quickly and easily. With this one though, Noel did not do that. He did not want to use the pre-made neck. And so he made this neck with, with help from Farley and others out in the shop, made this neck from scratch and routed a channel uh, we've got a photo of the the channel and how he mounted that truss rod in there and you can see it there <clears throat> basically used a router table yes sir made that slot and then set it's a piece of square actually actually it was round it was round, round it was five sixteenths uh round steel stock steel rod steel so rod. solid steel rod yes. set into that channel he routed which is right here in the neck and that helps give it the strength that it takes to hold up to the tension of six strings because mm -hmm. six strings put a good bit more tension on the the neck and the body now speaking of the body there's also a lot of bracing in here and we've got a photo of that of what you did yeah. to brace the inside of this guitar now you can see on that photo that the walls of the guitar are about a little less than half an inch so about, and remember, this guitar body was not steam bent. This was cut using a bandsaw out of solid pieces of wood yes. that had been glued together. <clears throat> so you can see that the, the walls are thick and that bracing, if you could bring it back for just a moment, Nick, that bracing in the middle, that looks like a piece of two by four. Uh, it was actually a piece of two by four. Yeah. And you can <laughs> That's see that. That's why it looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Very basic, yes. You can see the notches that were made down into that so that the pickups could sit down in there and that all of everything could go where it needs to go. So that forms kind of the spine of the guitar and gives it enough strength to hold up to the string tension of six strings. And that was, of course, uh, I have to thank Farley for that because she had told me, in my not knowing how to build, really, you know, I'm learning. Yep. She had told me, with the truss rod and with everything, to really give the guitar the proper support. It had to be from all the way from end to end. Yeah. It had to be supported. So she had told me, well, why don't you go online and look? And so I did. I went online and they show you how to build your own. Right. So I incorporated what I saw online with everything Farley had taught me and showed me. And that that helped me, you know. <laughs> and this is a semi, as you saw in that uh, the photo. This is a semi hollow body. It's hollow on this side, hollow on that side. And it's got that spine in the center. I'll show it off to you here on this side camera, so you can get a good look. Uh, the top is mahogany, I uh, believe, genuine mahogany or African mahogany. Yes. Uh, I believe it's the African. The mahogany. neck looks like mahogany. The fretboard is wenge or wenge, depending on how you pronounce mm -hmm. that. Got the six uh, parlor style tuners up there, du dual mini snake oil humbuckers on there, one of our nice six string uh, top load bridges, 
volume tone control a, a switch for selecting between the two pickups and then a couple of access panels on the back so really a nice looking guitar and nice sounding too I'll, I'll plug it in a little bit towards the a little bit later towards the end still somewhat in tune so that's good now Farley I, w I wanted you to be here to talk about yeah. what were some of the more challenging aspects of this aside from um, aside from working with Noel that's right. that's so <laughs> that, 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 that was, was the hardest that part. was the hardest right. challenge yeah. 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 well I have to say that um, there's a saying around here if you want to get something done you put Noel <laughs> on it and he yeah. gets stuff done and I just love his tenacity and I appreciate you know the acknowledgement for my help but Really, he did it all, and he just keeps going. If there's something that we don't understand or know, he'll just go and figure it out, and so we're kind of learning from each other. Well, thank you. But, um, yeah, the truss rod was was new to me, and so that was interesting. And But as a builder, I was concerned about, you know, the strength throughout the box, and so you put that 2 by 4 in, which is actually pretty buoyant and lightweight and mm. seems to... Work yeah, I was well. wondering when I saw that, I was like, ooh, pine 2x4, is yeah. that going to be strong enough? But it certainly seems yeah. to be, you know, it seems to be holding up fine. we we got to do some final adjustment of the action height and the intonation, but really a nice, sturdy, sturdy guitar with a smaller yeah. size body. But it is a full 25-inch scale. Yeah, sure. So, yeah. yeah, that is good stuff. Yeah. Uh, we've mentioned that the, the sides are not steam bent. They are mm -hmm. cut. So this solid, especially solid body electrics, like the one that we have over there, um, yeah, pull it in. This, basically, if you get a slab of wood, any kind of wood, it could be pine, it could be whatever, or some two by fours glued together, you could cut a solid body electric shape out of it, route out for the pickups and everything, bolt a neck to it, and make your own solid body electric guitar pretty quick. And the cool thing is, with electrics that have magnetic pickups in them like these do, the resonance of the body doesn't really matter that much. Compared to an elect or an acoustic guitar, the, the size of it, the, the what it's made out of really matters a lot. But with a, a solid body electric, it doesn't because really it's primarily the strings interacting with the pickups. Now, you might get something from the body and people get pretty carried away with that, but I say you can mount a pair of these snake oil humbucker pickups in a cinder block and bolt, <laughs> bolt a neck to it we and you're good. Yeah, we should try. It. I've been <laughs> saying that for years that you can do this. We should actually do it and see if I'm right because, yeah. you know, I say a lot of stuff. Yeah. Is it true? I don't know. I hope so. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so put that back. So uh, that is uh, most of what we had to show you today, these very cool guitars that Noel has built. Really nice. Thank and you. Thank you. this follows in a long tradition. The reason I wanted to do this today during Americana Month here on Cigar Box Nation TV, people saying, I want to build something. I want to make music on it. I might not know how, but I'm going to do it anyway. And people have been doing that not just in America, all around the world for thousands of years, that drive to make music and to make it on something that you built yourself. That's the special thing, because you've got a connection to this that you could never have to uh, uh, you know, a guitar off the wall of a guitar shop. Not that there's anything wrong with them, but something you build yourself, that you put your own design into. You make some mistakes. You might put the, the, the mm -hmm. fretting hand dip on the wrong side. You might yeah. drill, you know. <laughs> you might drill the hole for the on switch the side, on the wrong side. It doesn't matter. You still have fun with it. You learn from it. And the whole time, tell me if this is true, the whole time, I bet you were thinking about your next one. What uh, you do different yes. on your next build. Yes, yes, you're yeah. exactly you're exactly right. I've learned one? from this one yeah. Yeah. and then I incorporated a lot into this one and I learned I was learning even more, but there you're you're exactly right. There are still ways that I could go oh, I, I can oh, do this. So I, <laughs> I could go better. I can do this. So you're you're exactly right. Yes. All right. Well, cool. Well, you see me looking down at my phone here. I'm looking at your comments. Uh, shout out to Phil Hayes tuning in from Scotland. He's been a regular viewer of our uh, efforts here. We Bye send lot. a shout out to him. He, he's a recent convert to a cigar box guitar building, and he's getting into it in a big way. We're always glad to see that. Got Edvaldo Santos. We've got uh, Shane Spiel out there down in York. We got people from all over the world tuning into these broadcasts, and we certainly appreciate you watching. We are passionate here 
at CB Giddy and on Cigar Box Nation about making your own music, making your own instruments, and then making music on it. Where it, it's what it's all about. So speaking of that, I'm going to plug this in and do a little picking on it. Uh, and that'll lead us out. I want to repeat a couple of announcements. Uh, Northern Illinois Cigar Box Guitar Festival coming up in nine days on July 16th. It's going to be a great time, and we're going to be trying to live broadcast some of that here on the Cigar Box Nation page. Uh, Phil Hayes says he's an addict, needs rehab, <laughs> and at the same time telling us we really need to do a cinder block guitar. All so, right. Well, all right. <laughs> Phil, we're going to... The only cure is to play more. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Got to... Got a fever. No, no, no. Right. Um, what else we got? The only Tomorrow cure is more giddies. Well. <laughs> Tomorrow we're doing another broadcast. Shane Spiel actually going to be doing it, featuring some historic plans. So tune in for that. We do these every day, every weekday at noon here on Cigar Box Nation TV on the Cigar Box Nation Facebook page, uh, and we hope you're enjoying them. So I'm going to shut up and play something as our fans like to uh, suggest on the comments sometimes. Yeah. Enough talking, shut up and play something. So give me a moment here to get this, this one plugged in. It's a little bit different from what I had plugged in, so hopefully my settings aren't... You, uh, are you joining in for it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get too deep into it, but with two humbuckers, uh, this selector switch lets you choose between the bridge, which gives you a more trebly sound, the neck, which gives you a deeper, warmer tone, and then blended between them, you get a mix of the two. So I got a bad chord here. Thanks, Noel Preston and Farley Andreessen for jumping in here. Hope you enjoyed it. Gonna play you out.